just bagging it. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to Sunday Fun Day with Paul and Judy. We hope you're having a good Good weekend. Sunday. A good Sunday and a good fun day. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. And cheers to you. Let us know <laughs> if you can see us and hear us, if it's all coming through loud and clear. And when you write in, let us know where you're from. We'd love to know all the cities and states that yes. are watching today. Oh, and in the promo, I said, can you believe that this is already the last Sunday Did of July? July? Right. I mean, we're more Some, than half the year is over. Yeah. Somebody said to us just the other day, where is this year gone? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Compared to 2020 oh, yeah. or 2020 that just seemed to drag on forever. forever. This one's flying by. <laughs> but we hope you're doing well. We have a lot of good stuff set up in the green room, all ready to go for you guys. <laughs> so Indiana is in the, in house. the house. Hi, Sherry. Thanks for making yourself known. Shout that, out to your brother who's also in Indiana. Who's in Indiana. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. We have uh, some real fun signs of all <laughs> kinds. Did you ever go back and take a picture of that one that you said you saw? I think you said you were biking. Yeah. So and you no, never I turned haven't. around and went back. No. I'll go biking this week. No. And then, <laughs> no. We'll see if we can find that if, if it hasn't changed. Yeah, true. <laughs> oh, there's also the flip side of the bar Jane. one. The, you know, the... Um, you're as cold as your ex's heart. Yes. There's something on the other side. Oh, was that the one you were talking about or was it something different? Well, the other one was the puppy rubs. The oh, yeah, rubs. that's right. Well, this one I'll save. You told everybody I'll save about it. I take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, or afternoon, I guess, in some parts of the country. Good morning, and for those of you who are, what is it, west of the Mason Dixon line, is that what they say? Which one? Certainly oh, California. That's too early. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's nine in the morning. Uh huh. Very early. The Mason Dixon line is more in the middle. I know. Yeah, like Mississippi. Yeah, right? exactly. So, but actually, it's still out in um, Minnesota. Actually, in the it's Midwest. the north south. the north south, right. So, as we go west, it's still morning there, right. a little after 11 o'clock. <laughs> now that we've figured out the clock <laughs> and the time. Well, that's zone. our show. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, it took a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joan did one of my arm workouts this morning. Oh, nice. Yay! How are you feeling? Good? Look at the gun show. Yeah. Going well. <laughs> I ha I don't know if you've done the newest one, but um, I'll, I'll remind you of where you can find that. Yeah, the 10 minute toning at <laughs> home. So easy to do, isn't it? And they go so fast. So, ready for some signs? I am ready for signs of all kinds. Okay, well, I hope that Glenna. And Ladon are in the house <laughs> <laughs> because this, big first, contributors. this first one is one that uh, Glenna contributed. <laughs> and you have to just kind of look at it until you get it. See, I told you they were a bad idea, but no, you had to have heated seats. <laughs> I know. I had to look at that room for a minute before I figured it out, but I thought, oh, that's really funny because I happen to love popcorn. <laughs> I wouldn't have wanted to turn into a pile of it if I were a corn on the cob. Yeah, the, the backseat driver there is a colonel. <laughs> this is from Jane. Jane already weighed in this morning. <laughs> Jane, I probably should have saved this for a holiday oh, time, great. but it was so funny and it was a good on the heels of the corn <laughs> sticking with food that I decided, nah, let's go ahead and, and show it today. Hi, Mariana. So let's move on from oh, Susan. The from grocer South has Jersey. quite a sizable nose. I, <laughs> yes, he knows how to give some good advice, I think, on that score. <laughs> hey, look who's weighing in. John, John from the parking, lot, John. parking lot. <laughs> love, we, love me some Paul and Judy. <laughs> and, and we almost made it to the turtle lot yeah, the other day. I know. We're going to have to make that happen. All right, we're sticking with food. I love this one. <laughs> Wait till you read, I'll let you read it first. Are you reading it? No, what well, they're reading. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wanted to go out tonight, but the avocado I bought last week will finally be ripe enough to eat between 9 p.m. and 9.15 p.m., <laughs> so I can't. <laughs> and I thought, oh, my Judy God. You can relate to that. I can so relate to that because, in fact, well, I'll, I'll show you why I can relate to it because we recently did this recipe and <laughs> with the guacamole challenge. And we had to, of course, have the right avocados just at the ripe stage. But also, we've been doing some traveling back and forth to a couple of different places. And sure enough, we would we would bring, <laughs> we would go buy an avocado and then say, oh, wait, we're traveling yeah, again. Go so, 
oh my, what are we going to do? Do we bring it with us? We went one time, we went to my parents and I said, should I bring the avocado? Huh? No, we're not going to make guacamole there. Then so. I said, make it in the car ride down to where we're going. And then I thought, how am <laughs> I going to eat it? And we came home and it was brown. So we had to throw it away. But anyway, people can definitely relate <laughs> to the, uh, to the avocado business. So here's another one. That's funny. Uncle Dave weighs in. Asked my doctor today how long he thinks this COVID thing will last. He responded with, how should I know? I'm a doctor, not a politician. <laughs> <laughs> how true, how true. true Thank true. you, Uncle Dave, for that contribution. There's another one. Oh, this is funny, too. This is from <laughs> Connie, if Connie Miller is watching. <laughs> Slow down. I do not want dust in my beer. The only traffic sign to make 100% sense. Yes, you're so right. And then, um, oh, Susan's weighing in. Hey, thanks, Susan. Glad to see your name <laughs> on our show today. I think I do have one more. That was more. interesting. Her last name was Swig on the heels of a beer. Yeah, yes. I'm gonna take a swig of my beer. This one's hysterical. Christine, love this. Okay, take a, take a quick ander. <laughs> <laughs> So if your eyes go from left to right, <laughs> you will see that that came out to be Worst crazy. idea ever. I mean, it's so funny. When you look at it, it's like, how are you interpreting that? <laughs> I think there was another funny thing along those lines. You mean as far as the... Um, the shape of the thing? Oh, the shape of the of the, yeah. of the paperclip is concerned? Yeah. Is that well, that's why I said you can interpret it a no, couple different ways. I way. know, but... Oh, I, you're talking about a completely different thing. Yeah. And and share it with the well, class. I don't know if you, I don't want to ruin it if you have it in this one or I you're don't. saving it for another week. I don't. The one with the elephant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I think Christine sent that one too. <laughs> I have that in my album. I have a good. whole bunch. You guys so, have sent some really good you'll, ones. You'll get something in the, in the coming weeks. Yeah, remember when we did this in the early days of your idea of being, hey, I've got a great segment, beer signs and, and bar stools. And, and bar stools, yeah. Bar signs and something. And bar, bar. Our signs and bumper stickers. Yeah, bumper That's what stickers, it was called. Yeah. And we only had like two of them. Now I'm up to going, oh, I've got eight. I've got to cut it down. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have to save some for the following week. <laughs> but they are fun and they are clever. Yeah, they really are fun and clever. So speaking of fun and clever, mm -hmm. did you want to do a, uh, a blast? From the yes, past? I think that we're going to start with Judy's this week. Okay. She doesn't know what it is, of course. No. But it's really a blast from the way past. From the way past. Way past. And I'm not talking about your um, your passport, where you're only oh, six we're weeks six old. Weeks old. <laughs> I think this it was is just a, last week. This, right? is a, this is a blast from the <laughs> <way past. laughs> nice. That's one interpretation, nice. yes. <laughs> uh, too funny. <laughs> it's even funnier when you think the oh, billionaires were you. all racing to do this. So. Uh, Glenna focused on my ring for a moment, so oh, shall we talk about yes. it? Oh, yes. <gasps> Glenna, you know that I'm talking about bringing some jewelry back. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not the the website's still not ready, but the pieces are starting to roll in. And so what, what would that I'm doing a bad be? thing. I'm tempting you, and I can't tell you where to get but it. But it'll yet. be available at a great price. But do you? Uh, yeah, white pristine. That's pristine. Yeah, isn't that cool? From Nevada. Yes. Mined in the USA, completely natural, not treated. And set in genuine sterling silver. So thank yeah, you for I, noticing. I I'll have some news for you maybe as soon as next weekend. Okay. We have a few more meetings. Okay. And uh, and then I might be able to announce. Hi, Marianne. All right, so you want the blast from the past? Yes. Anything to set it up? I just said it's a blast, blast from the way, way, Oh, way yeah, you past. did. Okay, way, way, way. All right. We're here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Judy Kroll. And I'm Dan Smith. Tonight we're at the Gilded Corset Vintage Clothing Boutique just outside of Baraboo. And tonight we're going to show you how vintage clothing from the 30s, 40s, and 50s is becoming high fashion in the 80s. So join us for PM Magazine. Thanks, Paula. That will be a picture mom will want to save. Being able to dress up in these vintage clothes reminds me of the places you can go where they'll put you in old-fashioned clothes and take a black-and-white family portrait of you. 
memories of your summer vacation. This summer, you can take pictures without the thumbprint in the shot or pictures that are out of focus. Tonight, we're going to meet a hotshot photographer who has some tips for you on making your pictures picture perfect. Okay, Mom, Dad, Susie, everybody move closer together now. Smile. Ah, that's a keeper. This summer, your pictures will be perfect every time. And now back here at Paula's Vintage Clothing, a little bit about the dress that I have on. Well, some of you may recognize it as the style of the 1940s. Actually, it's quite comfortable right now in the 1980s. Don't go away. Dan and I will be right back. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's fun. Yeah, it's fun. It, it, it is fun. But there's also a little hidden thing in there that you won't know that means something to us that she probably didn't even notice either. When we first moved to Florida and we left QVC and we went on that cruise with your parents. Mm -hmm. And so we're Wasn't moving. Wasn't that the Queen Elizabeth II yeah. or something? No, II? no, no, no. Are you no, talking that about the, the Alaska? That was one of the damn ships. What do they call it? The, the Rotterdam? Yeah, the, one of the damn ship, <laughs> ships. Oh, you're talking about the Alaskan cruise. Alaskan cruise. Okay, not the QE2 because that was just like a three day thing yeah. along the East Coast. But this was before we were, when we bought our house, but we were gone. Yeah. Like most of the time. Yeah. And, I, know, uh, I know where this story is. Because <laughs> I know you're wearing a mink in that little <laughs> Or some animal. Yes, yeah, some animal. I'm dead so animal. We're, we're in uh, Alaska. Judy's shopping for furs. And I'm like, we're moving to Florida. That's where we live now. <laughs> but it looks cute on me. I know. It's funny because, uh, you know, when you, your parents are getting older and they're starting to talk to you about, now, you know, if you want any of these things in this cabinet, let me know which ones, because some are going to go to you and some are going to go to your brother and we might give some to the nephews. And so just let us know. <laughs> and they keep saying, what are we going to do with mom's fur coats? And I said, I have one. I don't know what to do with mine. <laughs> Nobody wants to wear them anymore because it's kind of verboten. Right. And what do you do with it? it, it it's probably shedding in a hot closet <laughs> as we speak. It's probably starting to smell mm -hmm. because I don't put it in a, a fur storage anymore because that got to be expensive. We need to get back in what the days do do with those old coats. when the uh, athletes were wearing them. Remember Joe, Joe uh, Namath had his Oh my his gosh, yes, I do. I do. And I remember the, all, the old Pittsburgh Steelers, they are, you know. Sure. I mean, it was a thing at one point. And now, <laughs> no, not so much. Because I don't think you can throw paint on a a football player. <laughs> I don't know. Do so your own Wearing risk. a fur these days, yeah. people might. What were they doing in the stands the other day? And they they were looking for the guy. I was just pouring water on somebody. Oh, was that what it was? Yeah. I think it was a baseball game or something. <laughs> oh, I don't remember. Anyway. All right. That was our blast from the past with <laughs> <Yeah>. Judy. <laughs> Make teddy bears with them. Hey, that's an interesting idea, yeah. actually. If, they're, if they already exist, they're already old, <laughs> and you don't want to just throw them out. <laughs> yeah, I know, right, Mark? There you go, Mark. <laughs> um, okay, so my blast from the past. Could you make rugs out of them? That's a good yeah. idea, too. Yep, they'd be soft. And who cares if you ruin them, right? That's right. If you were going to get rid of it anyway, not a good, not a bad idea. Like the bearskin rugs. That mm -hmm. would do, you know? Yeah. So it's your turn. Yes. Um, there was, uh, this, is, this is a short one, but when I was in Tanzania, and we found a local market. It was we were we were driving down the road somewhere and we just saw all this activity and all these people and we asked the driver what's going on he said well that's a locals market I'm like what do you mean locals market well that's what the local africans go to not the tourist things so we're like well we got to see that and uh then once what i discovered is when you do buy something there especially when you're one of the few white faces in the wrong of people right when you buy something then everybody says this is the great white hunter from america who wants so if you bought something then they <laughs> who all has money they descended upon <laughs> right it. So right I'm asking, right i'm asking the driver towards the end of this clip what's a good way to say no more no, no. <laughs> and it became a thing because so. if you buy something and, and not just buy anything it would be whatever that one thing was yeah. and all the rug like it was blankets come. right and like and i bought I bought a blanket. If you, buy, if you buy one, you must want 20. Right. And then um, and they come, and then I saw the poor uh, Nick Rosetto oh. was buying one, and he wanted it cut in half, which made it even more complicated. Oh, but anyway, it's it's a short clip. <laughs> you'll find out how to say no. Your explanation if, is longer than the clip. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you're ever in Tanzania, you'll know how to say no. Okay.
As I walk through the market here in Arusha in East Africa, you're really struck by the incredible vibrant differences in the colors of all the fresh fruits and vegetables. In fact, it's small wonder when you look at all of these colors why some of the most colorful gemstones on the planet actually come from this very spot in East Africa. <laughs> Thank you, Asante. All right. Oh, well, somebody uh, wants to offer you something and you want to just say no, what do you say? And, you, and be polite about it, if you just want to say no. No, apana. Apana? Yeah, apana. Apana. Yeah. yeah. Right. You so, can say that? Yeah, yeah, you can't say that. You can't? Yeah, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Asante, apana. <laughs> Thank you, no? Thank you, no. <laughs> See, that's a polite way of turning somebody yeah, yeah, down. That's I used that a lot for the rest of the Santi trip. Asante Apanya. Asante Hapana. Hapana. That means thank you. Thank no. you. No. But of or course, just Hapana. I said Hapana, and that's apparently not the, the nicest way to say it. That's probably like. But they did scurry. <laughs> <laughs> no, or I'll kill you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just put the on, on, os, not Asti. On, on the emphasis and the on emphasis on the different syllable. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> Goodness gracious. That's uh, funny. It's very PA. Oh, yeah. House. I already showed that one. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Hi, Patricia. Yes, I need a poll to see that one because we were in the middle of the show. Uh -huh. <laughs> 1986. Wow. Yeah. Well, actually, we were both at different channels in 1989. And then I moved to QVC in 1990. And Paul moved to QVC in, in 1997. Yeah, I was on right? HSN. We were in, uh -huh. on at the same time, but we didn't know each other and we were different cities. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, too funny. I yeah. guess that's where you talk about fate, <laughs> right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, we have a uh, an interesting announcement to make. What's that? That is that Mr. Paul hit another oh, yes. milestone yesterday. Twenty two hundred. <laughs> yep. Congratulations! Thank you very much, and thank all of you guys there who you have go. subscribed. We couldn't do it without you, and it's fun. <laughs> and and we, I didn't do a promo for this. Uh, week's lesson. Okay. But it was a very fun one. Okay. And it was on um, Rhodonite. And then I actually ended up Beautiful going stuff. through in this lesson the differences and the similarities of Rhodochrosite and Rhodonite since Rhod Rhodochrosite I did a couple of weeks back. Yeah. But it's really, really pretty stone, very affordable. And um, so it's kind of a fun lesson. Yeah. And one of the ways that I remember remembering the difference between those two stones when presenting anything that had either rhodochrosite or rhodonite in it is that one of them has much of the white banding that mm -hmm. runs through it and one of them has much of the black banding that runs through it and if you think about dark as night the night one is the one rhodonite. with the black so yeah. rhodonite was the easiest way when you looked at a beautiful pink stone opaque stone that had the banding rhodochrosite or rhodonite. And I, and I had. A, I always have to do those sorts of things because when you're just bombarded with, with all, all kinds of information. information, yeah. How do you remember? Uh, I was going to say there's a really interesting question on the rhodonite that I didn't get to, but it'll be my Q and A series. Somebody said, "I got a, a rhodonite that has green in it. Is that possible? Is that and and like is it still rhodonite? It's actually very possible because one of the main ingredients." Uh, is sometimes iron. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you know what happens when iron sort of patinas and goes goes green? So I said, yeah, sure, that would be authentic. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Fun stuff with gems. Congratulations, Laura. She just celebrated an anniversary, big anniversary, oh, which 32nd one? anniversary. Wow. Yeah. Congrats. Wedding anniversary. That's a good, a nice big deal. We have one coming up. Yes, we do. Getting closer and closer to it. In September. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a milestone mm -hmm. per se, but I'm only 12 people away from, well, maybe it'll be one of you, uh, from 2,800 wow. subscribers. Yeah, it's like 2,780 yeah, Boom. Yeah, so it's going to be very exciting. And I think one of the ways that maybe uh, I have gotten there, believe it or not, is with this video that we just... Um, sh that I just showed on Wednesday. I actually didn't have it ready to release <coughs> until Wednesday. So it, instead of being Monday motivation, uh, I think Marianne, I did it and wrote it. I called it a wake up Wednesday workout, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> but if you didn't get a chance to see it, maybe I can show it to you here. 
And uh, yeah, can we see it? Yeah, I okay. love it. It's just a little small uh, clip, Snip. but yeah, you'll be. And down and up, stay down this time. Now pulse it out, pulse, pulse, pulse. Palms are forward, good. And pulse, pulse, pulse. Four, three, two, and one. Lift the left heel and with your uh, left arm, push down. Keep your right arm up, okay? And that left hand is facing the floor. The palm is down, good. Work in that left side. Keep your balance, good. You got this. And four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, right heel comes up and right hand turns down. Here we go, down and up and down and up. Good, down. Try to keep that upper hand as steady as you can and keep those shoulders relaxed. Stomach tight, squeeze that right glute. Good. He looked good. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? Uh, thank you, Mariana. I'm glad that you liked that one. That was, a, I really liked that workout too because it was different and it challenged people not only with balance, but also coordination because I was doing arm workouts with me yeah, and yeah. I'm going to do another one like that because a lot of these things came to mind today. And I think it's, uh, it just gives you something else to think about, but you're working on your core the whole time. So you're strengthening that whole abdominal important. area, your yeah. back area and everything like that. So that was where I, I was showing you real quickly what the, um, the workout looked like. So when you go on to YouTube, maybe you'll be able to see it. So that's, that's what it looked like anyway, if you want to give it a try. And also not to uh, change the subject, but I know you have that link tree thing. Oh, yeah. And you were coming back from your workout and I'm like, that looks really nice. Oh, in my, in my outfit today, yeah. I said, yeah, this is that new sportswear yeah. company. It looked good. And that, uh, there's another video that's coming out that I'm, that's actually sitting in the editing suite now that is with those clothes on. And yeah. people yeah. have really enjoyed them. I know some of you <clears throat> have even said, you know, you went noodling around on that site and uh, bought a couple of really good supportive sports bras that you've been having trouble finding in the past. They've got these great ones that zip up the front now. And I have a friend who's sort of well endowed and she said, I can't find them that are easy to put on. I don't wanna pull them over my head. It's very uncomfortable. So the fact that you can just put your arm in it this way and then go zip, she said, I'm in. Gold. <laughs> well, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's fun, but it'll be good for you to be able to kind of see that and maybe uh, give those. They're really and reasonable, around. aren't they? They're very yeah. reasonable, yes. And if people are saying, "Well, okay, what are you talking about, Linktree?" At the top of my page, there's a blue shop now button, and when you push the blue shop now button, it gives you all the links to the different the socks that I yeah, wear and yeah, the clothes yeah. and all that kind of good stuff. Even the bands that I was using in that workout are on the Linktree. So I'm really having fun loading it all up with stuff that I love and that I think that you can use and maybe will inspire you to do those workouts at home. They're fun. Yes, they are. <laughs> so anyway, that was pretty much uh, all the stuff I had to show you. This <laughs> Still uh, a lot well, of material. Yeah, we do need to uh, chat. I know that we're trying to connect with Michael O'Connor. Yes, yes, yes. I think he was traveling. We were supposed to connect yesterday right. because we're talking about a good Sunday where he can be our guest. But he is getting ready for the JCK show, which is a big, big jewelry event out in Las Vegas. And I think everybody's now being invited back in. Yeah. Anybody who wants to travel can yeah. do it. Yeah. So, so he's got his hands full. But I know he just did a giveaway too. Yeah, so if you follow yeah. him uh, on Instagram, yeah. And I have some things that I'm going to be giving away as well not me. over on Instagram. No, okay. <laughs> not, not giving you away just yet. <laughs> That's more of getting rid of. Uh, we did mention uh, sometimes when we're on our social media that we are sort of in the throes of transition of, of moving and stuff. So sometimes we won't get our things, our YouTube things in on the as timely as we normally yeah, do, so yeah. bear with us with Trying that. to keep them on a weekly basis was great. And next- When everybody was staying home with nothing to do. No, my incorrect- We're cranking them out. But is, is next seven, Sunday the 1st of August? Yeah. So we will be doing our Sunday fun day. I can Sunday, tell you the exact date, let's see. It is the, yep, it's the 1st of August. And that's Kyle's birthday. Yeah. Uh, that's right, we gotta get that thing. 
a Leo. So if your September. birthday is now and you're a Leo. Uh, and the birthday. day after that, I yeah. will be having meetings about jewelry. So I'll be having meetings in both Atlanta and New Jersey. Yes. So that'll be even more to announce. We but may, we're still uh, going to do a Sunday fun day yeah. before you oh, leave. Yeah. Okay. So August 1st, we'll have all kinds of things to announce. That'll be a fun weekend. Busy weekend. Yeah, <laughs> These days, every weekend is busy. But I guess that makes it good. Right? Absolutely. We hope your weekend is busy and safe and fun, whatever you decide <laughs> to do. I was actually on the phone this morning, just before we went on the air, talking about cars oh, that's and right. car shopping. Mm -hmm. And how in the world do you make those decisions? And how do you know you're getting the right one? And how do you know if you're buying a used car that you're getting one that's not going to cause you a lot of trouble? And if you've been through that, I could use some advice. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that'll be another fun journey, another fun experience, another fun chapter. You know what else we can do as a discussion next week? What? I'm just curious to ask people because with all of the COVID and you know, the, the Delta variants and everything else going on. Mm -hmm. Well, the Olympics are going on right now. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's kind of under the radar. And I, I wondered if you're watching the Olympics, if you are into that kind of thing. If Maybe you're not, what your favorite sport yeah, is, right. if you are watching. Yeah, kind of where, where you are in that uh, Yeah, think about that for next that week. Because it's, it's kind of weird because it just, it just all of a sudden they said, oh, the Olympics are on. I know. Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Unlike previous yeah, years. Yeah, so tell me what your thoughts are. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. That's a good one for next weekend. Yep. I mean, it's still on, right? Next weekend or the Olympics? <laughs> the Olympics. <laughs> yeah, they pretty much just started. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. Thanks so much for keeping us company. I do have my uh, wise words. Oh, yes. Yep, that and, positive and those, thinking ahead. Those that want to join us from afar. I mean, not virtually, but it's Brie Day. So oh. it's Sunday Brie Day. <laughs> so red wine and Brie is yes. on the docket for today. Yes, yes, yes. That and going through some cabinets. We're in that get rid of mode. So I said, okay, before we do anything fun, we have work to do. Love it. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I have a great I weekend. I just do what I'm told. <laughs>